The oldest prisoner at the Guantanamo Bay Detention Center was released and reunited with his family in Pakistan, the country's foreign ministry said in a statement Saturday. Saifullah Paracha, 75, had been held on suspicion of ties to al-Qaeda since 2003, but he was never charged with a crime during the more than 17 years he was detained at the U.S. base in Cuba, according to Reprieve, a legal charity that represents him and has campaigned for his release. We are glad that a Pakistani citizen detained abroad is finally reunited with his family, the statement said. The Pentagon said in a statement Saturday that Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin had notified Congress of his intent to repatriate Saifullah Paracha to Pakistan last month. He was accused of being an al-Qaeda facilitator who helped two of the conspirators in the 9-11 plot with a financial transaction. Paracha said he did not know the men were al-Qaeda and has always denied any involvement in terrorism and the events of September 11, 2001 when terrorists from the Islamic militant group crashed planes into the twin towers of the World Trade Center in New York and the Pentagon. Paracha was then transferred to the U.S.-run Bagram Air Base in Afghanistan before he was taken to Guantanamo in 2004, according to Reprieve. Washington has long asserted that it can hold detainees indefinitely without charge under the international laws of war. Saifola is returning to his family as a frail old man, having been taken from them in the prime of his life. Paracha's son, Uzair Paracha, was convicted in 2005 in federal court in New York of providing support to terrorism, based in part on testimony from the same witnesses held at Guantanamo whom the U.S. relied on to justify holding the father. Almost 800 men and boys have been unlawfully detained at Guantanamo since it was opened by the Bush White House in 2002.